epilepsy warning for flashing lights and colors. Summertime is just around the corner, and it's once again time to return to the awesome world of water slides. We've talked about these attractions a few times on this channel, but there are a lot more unique slides out there. So as voted on by the viewers, here are the top 10 bizarre water slides right here on Theme Park Crazy. Number 10, Frozen Bob at Italy's Caneva Aqua Park. In a previous video, we've discussed the Aqua Scoot, a water slide that allows passengers to skim across the surface of a pool of water. But for this slide, imagine that, but using a mat instead of a plastic sled. First opening in 2014, this unique experience opened as part of a new Arctic-themed mat slide complex. Among these slides are three which lead straight into a shallow pool. The goal of these slides is to position yourself just right on the mat so that you skim across the water surface when you reach the pool. Skim far enough and you'll reach a small ramp. It could easily make for some thrilling competition with friends, with the highest up the ramp winning. This slide is said to be extremely rare, and I was unable to find other installations of it. This likely makes it a one-of-a-kind attraction, and it isn't the only one at this park either. Number 9, Super Splash, also at Caneva Aqua Park. This is pretty much a water slide that ends with a belly flop. Located on the opposite side of the park from Frozen Bob, this experience consists of two mat slides that start underneath an airplane. Passengers descend on their stomachs. At the bottom though, the slide points upwards and suddenly ends. Riders are then launched into the air before splashing down belly first in the pool. Admittedly, it does sound like a painful experience, and it's likely why we haven't seen more of these slides. At the same time though, I've personally never ridden this slide, so I have no idea if it is in fact painful. If you've taken a ride on this one, feel free to leave a comment down below and explain your experience. Number 8, the defunct zip coaster at Sandusky, Ohio's Kalahari Resort. Though recently closed for good, this one-of-a-kind slide is still remembered for its unusual propulsion system. This slide was a variety of water coaster, an attraction that combines the concept of a roller coaster with a water slide. This ride implements hills and high-speed bank turns. Over the years, different propulsion methods have been used, including water jets and magnets. But on the zip coaster, a third method was used, a conveyor belt. Imagine a supermarket conveyor belt, but on a water slide instead. On uphill sections, a belt would use friction to give the rafts more momentum. Unfortunately, in addition to high maintenance demands, the belts were said to be extremely noisy. In an article on TripSavvy.com, travel writer Arthur Levine said, quote, At low speed, the sound is annoying. When they accelerate into zip mode, however, the belts emit nerve-shattering roars reminiscent of an industrial-strength wood chipper or chainsaw. Surprisingly, this slide lasted for quite a while despite these complaints, but they eventually caught up to it because the combination of costly maintenance, obnoxious noise levels, and the struggles of the COVID-19 pandemic led to the ride's closure and demolition in 2020. It was truly a rare water slide, and if you got a chance to ride it, you certainly have bragging rights. Number 7, Banana Flip at Malaysia's Escape Theme Park. We've discussed this park in a previous water slide video. Located on Malaysia's Penang Island, this park is home to a number of epic water attractions. These include the world's longest tubular water slide, which we mentioned in a previous video, and the action-packed banana flip slides. This experience's name is based on the yellow color of the slides as well as their curvatures. These trapdoor slides are extremely unique compared to other ones out there. For one thing, these slides are manually powered, with the ride operator kicking a lever to open the door underneath the passenger. As for the ride experience, not only is the descent a near freefall, but the slide ends with a high angle. Riders are shot into the air across the pool on their backs, landing with a huge splash. The park's website describes the slides as providing, quote, the launch pad to flip into the air and bust your in-flight moves. So if you feel like getting a stuntman experience at a water park, this slide is a great opportunity to do just that. Number 6, Dual Loop at Italy's Andaland. In my Top 10 Strangest Water Slides video from 2020, we discussed the infamous Cannonball Loop at New Jersey's Action Park. To put it simply, putting a loop on a body slide is far too dangerous to attempt. Later on though, the concept of a looping body slide was revived, sort of. First conceived by Austrian manufacturer Aquarena, this slide features what looks like a full upside-down loop from certain angles. However, this is actually an incline loop, and passengers don't actually go upside down on this slide. These slides are currently produced by Canadian manufacturer Whitewater West, and are typically body slides. 
However, one of these slides is actually ridden with an inflatable raft. This slide, known as Dual Loop, has been operating at Ondaland in northern Italy since 2013. At first glance, this slide looks incredibly dangerous and impractical, plunging riders downwards and suddenly switching directions. However, the actual path of the course is a high-speed, high-intensity experience that you'd be hard-pressed to find anywhere else. On this ride, two people at a time board a double inner tube before being sent downwards. After a couple of adrenaline-pumping twists, the ride ends with a splashdown, leaving its passengers wondering what just happened. This slide often isn't discussed online, and it's unfortunate because it's really worth noting. Number 5. The Champagne Bowl Model, built by Whitewater West You've probably heard of the standard bowl slide. These thrilling attractions feature a bowl which riders enter and encircle repeatedly. Typically, these bowl elements end one of two ways. There's either an opening in the center of the bowl where the slide continues, or there's a hole where riders drop into a pool below. In the case of the Champagne Bowl, though, neither of these occurs. Instead, after entering and encircling the inside, guests come to a stop inside the bowl and actually exit the ride through the center via a staircase. This may seem unusual and anticlimactic, but it's actually an inventive design choice. Oftentimes, water parks are short on space and don't have room for a longer slide or a pool underneath. With a champagne bowl, park owners can get all the centrifugal thrills of a bowl slide while still managing to save on space and money. For this reason, this slide can be built in a wider variety of locations than a standard bowl slide. You can even find this slide on cruise ships. Hell, you could probably fit one of these slides in a big enough backyard, and the lack of a pool underneath can save a lot of water too. Ever since its introduction, the Champagne Bowl has been a smash hit for Whitewater, and parks all over the world have installed them. While it may be strange for those accustomed to the typical bowl slide, this attraction is a great way to get the most out of spatial limitations. Number 4. The Queen Sweet Water Slide at Japan's Hotel Regent Odaka The concept of a love hotel is quite popular in Japanese culture, and has made several media appearances over the years. These adult-only hotels are known for their high-end amenities. One of these hotels also has a rather unusual feature. The Hotel Regent Odaka actually features a pink, semi-translucent water slide inside its queen suite with spa bathroom. This room has a number of luxurious features. It has a living room, fancy slippers, a flowery bedroom, a fancy toilet, and of course, the private pool area with a water slide. At first, this seems like a nice little water slide, but in reality, it's pretty intense, and it may rough you up pretty badly. The turns on this slide are sudden and sharp, and the slide is a lot faster than it appears to be. The woman who recorded this footage claimed that both her and her husband got bruises on their knees from riding it. So if you do plan on checking this slide out, see if you can descend it at a lower speed. Other than that, this slide looks like something out of a dream, and luckily, the hotel is open to more than just couples. As long as you're 18 or over, you could head over to the Hotel Region Odaka and give this slide a try. Number 3. The Sky Pond Journey at New Jersey's Maury's Piers Found at Maury's Piers Raging Waters Water Park, this unique slide experience is one you don't typically see out there. The park describes it as a one-of-a-kind attraction, which consists of several tube slides connected by elevated pools. After descending one slide, you'll reach a pool where a lifeguard helps you maneuver your way to the next slide. Then you head to another pool and the process repeats a few times. It really makes you wonder how shriveled up these lifeguards get during their shifts in these pools. This experience is similar to the previously mentioned slides at Italy's Cita del Mare. However, these slides aren't built onto the terrain and the elevated pools are much bigger. What's cool about the Sky Pond journey is the multiple paths riders can take, allowing for an added re-rideability factor. To sum it all up, this slide complex is a unique and surreal experience that you can really only get on the Jersey Shore. Number 2. Mountain Slide Winder at Tennessee's Dollywood This is definitely one of the most obscure attractions in the park's history, and very little photos and videos exist of it. First opening in the late 1980s, this ride was custom-built for the park. The ride experience featured bulky, multi-person foam rafts with numbers on the front. Up to five people at a time could ride, and the course ran down the park's hilly terrain. Initially, this water attraction gave guests a reprieve from the hot Tennessee sun. However, throughout the 2000s and 2010s, Dollywood continued to grow its lineup of thrill rides, and the Slidewinder slowly lost relevancy. Despite it just recently closing in 2019, videos of the attraction are extremely rare to come across. 
Some people say the long hike uphill hurt the ride's popularity, and less people were willing to go all that way up to board a dated water slide. Moreover, in order to send the vehicles off, the weight of the riders had to be carefully distributed, which was said to hamper capacity. Others say the attraction was hard to maintain, though there is a surprising lack of information on this ride overall. It's truly a mysterious water slide, and I would love to learn more about this one. Number 1. The Wild Water Course, found at various water parks. Imagine combining a liminal space with a water slide. Sounds awesome, right? Well, while you'd be hard-pressed to find one here in the United States, these are actually fairly common in Europe. Commonly known as a whitewater maze, this variety of water slide consists of a winding course with sharp turns. Multiple people can ride at the same time, being pushed along by the slide's current. This slide uses much more water than a typical water slide, and the ability to have multiple people ride it at once is said to make it less appealing to US safety standards. Nevertheless, there are plenty of these slides in Europe, and many consider it to be a dreamlike, relaxing, and even surprisingly thrilling ride experience depending on how strong the current is. Its unusual nature makes it no wonder why it got the number one spot, and if you got to check out one of these slides, feel free to comment down below. And speaking of comments, now it's time for the comment shoutout program. This is where I take five random comments from my previous video and read them out. These comments come from my video on WWE's failed drop tower in Clifton Hill. MDF3530 says, Another thing they once announced but never opened was the Smackdown Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas. Kate Daniel says, I wonder how this store would have done had the merch not been overpriced as hell lol. Music of the Thrill says, A park or attraction themed to Coldplay would be so much cooler or even the first Roller Coaster Tycoon games. Alex the Grimlock says, The thumbnail hits hard in my opinion for some reason. And Dawson's Meme says, To be honest, I would love a drop tower in the middle of my city. If you want to see your words in my next video, leave a comment down below and it may be selected. Please note though that inflammatory or spam comments will not be read. And also, here's a special shout out to my newest gold tier patron, Ted Jayas. And I apologize if I pronounced that wrong. Thank you all so much, and if you want to support me on Patreon, you can do so once again at the link in the description. Thanks for watching everyone, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. You can follow me on social media on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, or you can check out my website at themeparkcrazy.com. And I'm on TikTok. This is Theme Park Crazy, and I'll see you all next time.